Microsoft has recently announced at Build 2022 the new Dataverse exporting functionality in MS Access. Access has for a while now been able to export your access tables into a SharePoint list, but now this can be done to a Dataverse table in the cloud. Dataverse is the table infrastructure behind the Power Platform. It is integrated with Azure, so moving data between these two platforms is easy too. So what does it mean to export your data to Dataverse? And why would you want to do it? Maybe you're happy with your access database, its reports you created and its forms. But what if you find your database is getting sidelined repeatedly by cloud-based rivals? What if someone has built a power app and your manager has asked you to consider migrating your data to the cloud so that, so that a development version of power app can be built on top of your data? Well, exporting to Dataverse enables that. Your data stays in your access database and another table is created in Dataverse. The two tables are linked and require refreshing to be synced. That is, when you make a change to your database tables, they need to be synced with the Dataverse version. A linked table in Microsoft Access is created that links to that Dataverse table. Let's have a look at this new functionality in MS Access. In Access, we've had the export to a SharePoint list functionality for a while now. We can see the new Dataverse icon here in the external data menu. You can right click any table and access the export to Dataverse item. You can select multiple tables here. Here I'm going to select only one small table. The uploading of a large table can take hours. 70,000 row table I uploaded took me more than 45 minutes to upload. The next stage of the access wizard here is to select which Power Platform environment you want to export your table into. This is relevant because the Power App that you might want to create on top of the table needs to be in the same environment. After the exporting has completed, your local table has been renamed to distinguish it from its cloud version. You will see the tiny green icon on the cloud version listed in the table section. In the Power App service, if you navigate to your tables, you can view your newly created table. Here you can edit your data. Now let's create a Power App on top of that table. Now in our app, if we go to the data tab, we can see that we have the one table called sales bonus. We can edit the table from here also. So back in our app, let's create a new page. In the access world, this would be called a form. We're going to select a different table as the source for the form. We now have two tables in our app. Both are custom type Dataverse tables. 
with one the sales bonus linked to MS Access. Here's a list of the custom tables I have in this environment. You can see the sales bonus is included, as well as the second table I added in the second page.